Good evening. Angered by growing beach pollution, Sydney siders gathered at Bondi in their thousands today for the Turn Back the Tide protest concert. Billed as the biggest event of its kind, it featured the cream of the Australian rock industry and has already raised $76,000 towards fighting the problem. While Sydney's sewage outfalls continued to pollute our beaches, around the corner at Bondi today, the message from the masses was that help was on its way. It was the day Woodstock-like crowds came to the waterside. The lure was a concert starring Australia's top rock musicians, but the issue was the state of the beaches. Some days you can smell it, you know. It gets really bad. Just one of those to lend their talents free of charge was John Farnham. And we're going to make a hell of a noise and we're going to get right up these guys and tell them to do something and make some noise about it. It was too loud for some, but for an audience some estimated in excess of 100,000, it was a concert of a lifetime. Do you think you're here for the music or the issue? The issue, yeah, mainly. Definitely yeah, the, the issue. issue. If there are those who feel Australian rock music is lacking a social conscience, today's concert should convince them otherwise. The singers and musicians here believe they are not only highlighting the issue of beach pollution, but they feel they can also turn back the tide of apathy and get results. This is the start of the revolution. Won't end here. Once, once we've done something about water pollution, we'll move on to something else. People have had enough. A ban on alcohol was widely disregarded. However, the crowd generally behaved, apart from one or two scuffles. And there were some accidental injuries. Even before the concert started, five people were treated after stepping on discarded syringes. Hidden hazards aside, the concert was a success financially. There was no admission charge, but thousands were happy to donate to the cause. And by late this afternoon, they had got their money's worth. And that was even before the appearance of the man many had waited to see, Jimmy Barnes. Mark Burroughs, National 9 News.